the Bible is telling us. Biblia inatuambia the enemy that you are seeing now. Adui unaimona sasa. He is no longer anymore. How you pretend? Oh, you never see him anymore. How to mona tena? Oh, you never see them anymore. How how to mona tena? I think in the book of what? In the book of Exodus. There. God is just telling them. Mungu alikuwa anaambia wana wa Israel, you are enemies that you are seeing them today. Kwamba adui zenu hao mnaowaona leo, you will never see them anymore. Hamu tawaona tena. Right? Praise God have you. It is true. I believe in the word of God. Why we are seeing confusion in the body of Christ? We are born again. And a God he overcome our enemy. We are born again. God he overcome our enemy. Mungu ameoshinda adui zetu. But why? Lakini kwa nini? We have challenge. Bado tuna changamoto in the body of Christ. Katika mwili wa Kristo. Why we don't have the spirit of calmness? Kwa nini hatuna mio hatuna roho za utulivu? Why? Kwa nini? Already God he overcome our enemy. Tayari Mungu ameshawashinda adui zetu. As it written. Kama ilivyoandikwa. He finish the battle. Aliimaliza vita on the cross pale msalabani to where battle coming from kwa hiyo sasa vita inatoka wapi so why we are inside the body of christ kwa hiyo kwa nini tuko ndani ya mwili wa kristo and uh, we don't have a calmness spirit na bado hatuna mioyo hatuna roho zenye utulivu still we have confusion bado tuna machafuko fulani praise god yeah. meaning something is wrong in us maana yake kuna kitu kiko sawa ndani yetu We cannot say devil he is a cause. Hatuwezi kusema kwamba shetani ndio chanzo of the un- 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 calmness spirit. Cha sisi kutokuwa na roho za utulivu. No no no. Hapana. Your enemy that you used to see they are no longer enemy. Adui zako uliokuwa ukiwaona hawapo tena. So where our enemy coming from? Kwa hiyo adui zetu wametoka wapi? People they are learning away from the truth. Watu wanaikimbia kweli. Learning away from God. Wanamkimbia Mungu. What makes them to run away from God? Nini kinachowafanya wamkimbie Mungu? The question. Swali. They are not born again. Hawajazaliwa mara ya pili. But why are they running away from God? Lakini kwa nini wanamkimbia Mungu? Because we believe kwa sababu tunaamini if you have Jesus ukiwa na Yesu you have heaven una kila kitu So where and come spirit coming from Kwa roho ya kutokuwa na utulivu inatoka wapi Where and certain spirit coming from Kutokutulia rohoni kunatoka wapi As a Christian kama mkristo very easy to give up rahisi sana kukata tamaa very easy to go back to our old life ni rahisi sana kuyarudia maisha yetu ya kale Where this thing come from? Yet we are born again. Hili jambo linatoka wapi wakati tumezaliwa mara ya pili? You need to understand one thing. Unahitaji kuelewa jambo moja. If you are Christian, kama wewe ni Mkristo, and you don't have a calmness spirit, na huna roho yenye utulivu, you will never hear the voice of God. Kamwe huwezi kuisikia sauti ya Mungu. Never. Kamwe That's why. Ndio maana. Among the thing that devil he can make to you, kati ya vitu ambavyo shetani anaweza kukufanyia, to fail maybe to be close the things of God, ili uwe ushindwe kuwa karibu na mambo ya kimungu, is just to keep you busy with the things of the world. Ni kukushughulisha sana na vitu vya ulimwengu huu. Praise God. Keep you busy with your phones. Akushughulisha sana na simu yako. Praise God. Hallelujah. You are all, all the all, all the time in the Facebook, you in the Twitter, you in the what? Praise God. There is no way you can have 
a calmness of spirit. Hakuna namna ambavyo unaweza kuwa na roho ya utulivu. If you have a calmness of spirit, ukikosa kuwa na roho ya utulivu, there is no way God can speak. Hamna namna Mungu anaweza kuzungumza. In that time, sababu muda huo, you will have a lot of voice. Utakuwa na sauti nyingi from God. Mungu aweze kuzungumza you must na mtu the spiritual lazima uwe na utulivu rohoni in order god what ili Mungu aweze kuzungumza ha, why our spirit cannot set kwa nini roho zetu haziwezi kutulia is because we don't live today ni kwa sababu hatuishi leo we live tomorrow tunaishi kesho We are here today, but we are living tomorrow. We are thinking about tomorrow. How tomorrow is going to be? How can we settle now? No way. We must accept the day that God gives us. And enjoy. In order God to speak. Ili Mungu aseme nasi. Okay, after being born again, baada ya kuzaliwa mara ya pili, he can leave you. Anaweza akakuacha. But, lakini he can't leave you alone. Hawezi kukuacha mwenyewe. When he was inside of you, alipokuwa ndani yako, he released the knowledge. Aliachilia maarifa. There was a life in life he gives you. Kuna maisha alikupa. There's a lifestyle he gives. You. Kuna mtindo fulani wa maisha alikuachia, alikupatia. Right? You get what I'm saying? He left you. But something is still inside of you. He not left you alone. There is something he put in you. Are you getting what I'm saying? Are we together? Are we together? He not left you alone. But when he was leaving you, there was a life that makes you to live. Kuna maisha aliyokufanya wewe. Maybe you are Labda ulikuwa mlevi. You love money. Ulipenda fedha. Praise him. He released all the things. Aliachilia yote haya. When he left you. Alipokuondoka. Still that knowledge remain in him. Bado yale maarifa alibaki ndani. That knowledge is the greatest enemy more than devil. Hayo maarifa ndio adui mkubwa kuliko shetani mwenyewe. Napenda msaidie. Praise him. How it together. So when you were there, when you were there, you used to have your own management, your own money, I went together, your own life. So after accepting Jesus, because you are getting things easy, now, there is no way you can have the heart of waiting for God's time. Because there is another life that will release you. Kwa sababu kuna maisha mengine shetani ameachilia ndani yako. He leaves you before left you. Ameachilia ndani yako kabla hajakuacha. The spirit of loving money. Roho ya kupenda fedha. The spirit of loving women. Roho ya kupenda wanawake. The spirit of loving drunk. Roho ya kupenda ulevi. The spirit of loving to hang out. Hang out. So there's a life he lives in you. Kwa kuna maisha aliachilia ndani yako. He left you. Alikuacha. But he not left you alone. Lakini hajakuacha hivi hivi. There's education he lives in. You. Kuna elimu aliachilia ndani yako. How to live namna ya kuishi this is more danger more than demon inside ni hatari zaidi kuliko pepo akiwa ndani it's planted in your mind imepandwa kwenye ufahamu wako the bible is telling us when god he delivered the people of israel from the egypt alipowatoa na israeli kutoka misri praise god are we together yes they come out from that land dio walitoka katika nchi ile but lakini there was a knowledge they have kulikuwa na maarifa walikuwa na was a life that devil lives in them kuna maisha ambayo shetani aliachilia ndani yao they were eating walikuwa na kula meat they were eating watermelon but they were eating this praise god yeah there was a no day that they stay angry hakuna siku walikuwa na shida nje yes was angry there was no day praise god yeah we together in the bible they were even though they were working hard but they were eating everything ingawa walikuwa wanatumikishwa kwenye kazi sana lakini walikuwa wanakula kila siku this what he did the enemy he made them a smeg yeah aliwafanya kuwa watumbo but they were eating every day lakini walikuwa wanakula kila siku are you together they were eating what every day so he leaves something there wakachilia kitu fulani they did not know about the angle hawakujua masuala ya njaa Praise God. They were slaves, yeah. Walikuwa watumwa. They don't know about angle, lakini hawakuifahamu njaa. You were there as a slave of devil, but every day you are getting money. 
ulikuwa mtume wa shetani lakini kila siku ulikuwa unapata fedha you used to use even you used to to use even the way of lies to get a man ulikuwa unatumia hata njia kufanya kusema uongo ili upate fedha you get it you born again umezaliwa mara ya pili see the life in bado yale maisha yako kwenye ufahamu wako you are in the body of christ uko kwenye mwili wa christ unaweza pia kusema uongo ili upate fedha so meaning when the people of israel wana wa israel they left egypt walipotoka misri and when they were on the journey before crossing the red sea na walipokuwa safarini kabla ya kufika bahari ya sham you are enemy that you are seeing them today you never see them anymore. Anymore. it is true they died ni kweli walikufa praise god it is true they died ni kweli adui zao walikufa but we see them committing a sin there tunawaona wao kule mbele wakifanya tena dhambi praise god Are we together? Come to that sin. We see them there committing a sin. Tunaona kule mbele wanafanya dhambi. We see them still worshiping the Tunaona god of Egypt. Tunaona bado wanaabudu the god of Pharaoh. M- m- wanaabudu miungu ya Pharaoh. Meaning this move when they have the knowledge Manaka of worshiping. How to pay God a limu ya kuabudu. Why they build it? So they so they if we worship this god. Wale waliona kama tukimwabudu huyu Mungu. Tunaweza kula. Tunaweza kunywa like the way you drink. Kama tulivyokuwa tunakunywa kule. So mean that life. Maana yake hayo maisha. That knowledge. Hayo maarifa. That love they knew. Maisha waliyojua. Yaliyosababisha washindwe kuwa na mioyo na roho zenye utulivu. Even God is available. Ingawa Mungu alikuwa ndio. But still what devil he releases in them. Lakini bado kile ambacho shetani akipanda ndani yao but what the thing that the pharaoh is releasing them kila ambacho farao alikiachilia ndani yao make them to commit a good kile wafanya wafanye dhambi kubwa mno so now we don't fight with the demon hatushindani na mapepo we follow the noise that he left tunashindana na yale maarifa aliyotuachia we love to live good life tunapenda kuishi maisha mazuri lakini bado tunashindana knowledge is what is no mine kwa sababu bado yale maarifa yako kwenye ufahamu wako We must come out from our old life Let's in order to have the calmness of spirit. Tutoka katika maisha yetu ya zamani ili tuwe na roho zenye utulivu. It's only when we have calmness of spirit. Tunapokuwa tu na roho ya utulivu we will enjoy. Tutafurahia. We will enjoy. Tutafurahia. Praise the Lord. When our our spirit is settled. Roho zetu zinapokuwa zimetulia. We can pray. Tunaweza kuomba. We can go on the mountain. Tunaweza kwenda bima. We can pray. Tunaweza kuomba. We can be joyful Tunaweza when we pray. Praise the Lord. Because we are no longer living the old world, the old life. Kwa sababu hatuwezi kuishi tena maisha ya zamani. We need to have the calmness of spirit. Tunahitaji kuwa na roho za utulivu in order to hear God. Ili tuweze kumsikia Mungu. Take this. It will help you. Chukua hili litakusaidia. Pray. Omba. Muombe Mungu. When we pray God he hears. Tunapoomba Mungu anasikia maombi yetu. Keep watching POG Family TV. Jesus Christ loves you.